retro movie review. So what do you want to do, bro? I had my cousin Vinny on. Let's do our cousin Vinny. All right, cool. And we could talk about Last Samurai. You know, there's other movies, Tango and Cash and whatnot. That's on the list. But let's do my cousin Vinny because I, I watched that the other day. 1992, Joe Pesci, an absolute classic. And what I loved about it, and it was so, it felt so like weird probably back then. He was this Italian dude from Brooklyn coming into the South. And it almost looked like he was almost like a foreigner in regards to the way he talks, the way he acts, the way he dressed, his persona, <laughs> everything about it. He was like a foreigner, but he's in America. He's in America still. Um, but just, you know, it was just Joe Pesci because at that time he was making Casino and God, uh, Goodfellas and whatnot. And he was that violent guy in those movies. And you're like, this guy's scary. But then here he comes as, as, uh, as, as a lawyer. Uh, but in a co- sort of comedy uh, movie. And he was just absolutely jokes, absolutely f- like hilarious in that movie. And it's just the way he acted was like, he did look like he was one of the characters that got Goodfellas, but mm. with a bit of humor behind him and being a lawyer in, in, in some way. So uh, it's got um, Ralph, Mac- 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 quite a kid guy in it. Um, Ralph Marciano. It's got Aunt May in it. I don't know the name. What's her name? Maria, Maria, <laughs> Maria, Maria. It's gone off my head now. But listen, great cast, listen, she's great a, movie. She's a dying piece in that one, boy. I ain't, I ain't <laughs> lying, bro. She's fine in that. She's fine now, anyway, but I'm saying it back then, boy. She was fine. Great movie. <laughs> now, listen, bro. A great comedic timing in that film. Uh, even the judge, the judge cracked me up. He's like, would you... Like, wear a suit when you come here. Yeah, yeah. Like, he was looking at a joke, bro. And then the suit he wore after was jokes, bro. Uh, there are, the, bro, it's a, it's a, it's, a, it's, that is a timeless classic, a great comedy, and it's put together so well. But if it wasn't for the cast, bro, you know, when, 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 uh, when he, Vinny tells Ralph, like, you know, what's going to happen and how it's going to happen. And you can see it in Ralph's face. You're like, oh, man, I, I don't even know why we got this guy. And you know the other friend, he was like, why are you got this guy for? He's loose, man. This guy is not going to win this case. But, you know, you, you, you see intelligence come to a person very quickly in that movie. And Joe Pesci does that really well because, you know, he only clocks towards the end. Then he gets his other half up on the stage. Uh, sorry, the the witness stand to talk about the tires and stuff and cars. Like it's really interesting that they dove that deep and that he clocked on that on the last bit. But during the whole movie, you know, at first you're like, this guy ain't going to win this case. He's going to lose, man. He keeps losing. He, and he got sent to prison twice, didn't he? I think it was three times. I mean, that's what I was going to bring up. It was so hilarious that he started off with uh, his opening statement saying... Whatever he said is bullshit. And then he gets arrested. Like, they put him in contempt and whatnot. And then by the, the what cracked me up as well is the sleeping. When he was in yeah. the it was a train at one point, so he couldn't sleep. Then he went to another hotel, it was the pigs, and all this sort of stuff. Then after he was just like, leave me in prison. I think I'm going to get a good night's sleep there. And there's a riot going on in prison. And he's sleeping. He's sleeping. Absolutely nicely and whatnot. <laughs> but yeah, his comedic time was joke. His suits were joke, the leather jacket and whatnot. And then then remember when his suit gets messed up with mud and everything. So he, to out of respect for the church, my guy wears a burgundy red tuxedo. And he was like, it was either the leather jacket that you don't like or this. And then he got arrested for it again. They put him yeah. in contempt again for wearing that suit. I was like, this guy is hilarious. But what I loved about it was he did take it serious at the end. Yeah. And he did try to, like, he was still knowledgeable about what he was trying to do. He just wasn't the best at his job. Uh, he wasn't the best at the academic side of things, right? This is what that's I love right. about this yeah. movie. So the academics, passing your bar test or whatever. Yeah, 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 that's right, yeah. The exams and all that stuff. He wasn't good at that. But in regards to um, looking at the facts, in regards to arguing a case, in regards to um, calling out people's bullshit as as a general person he was great at that and that's what exactly yeah, yeah, yeah. He, did. he literally called out everyone's bullshit all the other witnesses who were saying that you know the, the guys did it or whatnot so that was great about it and i think that was kind of like a little thing to say you don't have to be obviously you, you should be but you don't have to be academically smart at something like keep trying like, he showed that he just kept trying i failed it six times i got in 
But what made him great in that movie and what possibly would make him a great lawyer in the future if, the, if that universe carried on is his ability to call, call out people's bullshit. Bullshit. I mean, yeah. he wasn't an absolute... Yeah, he didn't know processes and shit. And he kept to talk to his wife about it. It's just it's a process. It's a process. He didn't know the process and shit. But he was great because he was able, he had that ability as, as a human being or whatnot. Um, and that's what I found amazing about it. And he did take it serious. And his wife was very supportive. She would read the books to her. Because what made me laugh as well is that she was reading uh, the book that he was given, this massive ass book. And he was like, oh, yeah, I'm going to go speak to the other lawyer. You know, kind of, you know, we're going to go hunt in. I'm going to sweet talk him and tell him to give me the evidence and whatnot. And then he comes back like as a bad man with all the evidence. Like, yeah, I sweet talked to him. I got the evidence. And she's like, yeah, it's written no. in the book. He's supposed to provide you with evidence. <laughs> he just looks like a, such a dumbo, but it, it's amazing. His, his character's great in it. Joe Pesci is just an absolute legend. Um, thinking about it, Moonwalk is another one that we should talk about in the future, but... Uh, yeah, yeah, definitely, definitely. definitely. Listen, Joe Pesci. Pesci is, you know, one of those actors that are going to be always up there for his serious stuff, his, but his comedy. He's done, he's done so many undercover comedies. I mean, Home Alone, that... That's pure best, and that's physical comedy that he did in that, and a lot of screaming and shouting. Uh, you know, he didn't have many lines in that film, but get bus up, <laughs> and he did so well in it, bro. You know what I mean? So, uh, kudos to him. Great movie, my cousin Vinny. If you guys haven't seen it, check it out. We did give you some spoilers in there, but it's one to watch. I've noticed now, like even like I'm watching Harry Potter now, and uh, you know I did the Harry Potter event, and there's spoilers, and I know what's going on, but they like you know it. It didn't really spoil much. I'm still enjoying it. So, like, we only give you, like, not even key details, just the fun parts of it and why we enjoyed it. But it's one of those movies from the 90s that you got to watch, man. And it's, like, part of his classic catalogue of movies. So definitely check it out. And it's got a rewatchability, like you said. Like, I, I didn't struggle to times. watch the whole movie. Hundred and times. I was actually laughing and the missus was enjoying it as well. I was like, well, this is what we keep talking about, rewatchability. Like, it wasn't difficult to watch it. So, um, yeah, check it out, guys. My Cousin Vinny, that's this week's retro movie review.